I'm BK Sun. I'm Rosie. I'm Arden. And this is We Play Too Much. With the upcoming release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, we will be discussing what we think worked in previous Pokemon games and what we would like to see return to upcoming Pokemon games. Or not return. I guess we could talk about something that people have already been talking about, the National Dex. Whether we think that's necessary or not. Um, I'm okay without it. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm kind of okay without it too. Because it's not like all the other Pokemon games also had it, right? I don't think all of them brought back like every single Pokemon from past generations. I don't not. think, no. Yeah. Sun and Moon didn't have every past Pokemon. Yeah. And it's understandable why people want it because mm -hmm. it just adds a lot of variety and yeah. there's like for people who play competitively they're like old Pokemon who like also are like really good in tournaments things like that mm -hmm. but obviously it's like from a casual standpoint like it's not that necessary it's so, like mm -hmm. obviously you want to catch like all how many Pokemon is there like what over two thousand maybe? And that's the thing. It would be like a chore trying to yeah, catch but people all like those that Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I like. The, I I kind of like the challenge too. Mm -hmm. Even though I've never caught like everything in the game. Period. So to have to catch every Pokemon that's been created. Period would be a big thing, mm -hmm. and it would be tough. But uh, a lot of people seemingly want that in the games because they just want to bring with them their old Pokemon that they've had yeah. since like. I don't know if it even dates back all the way to the Game Boy, but they want to have the Pokemon that they've, I guess, taken the journey with this entire time. So in a way, I can understand why they want yeah. the National Ducks. In a way, I guess I understand why the controversy came about because they re they had announced the bank around that time for the Switch, and then to hear that they're not going to have the National Ducks in the game is kind of disappointing mm -hmm. to people that want that in the games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I was one of those people who would bring old Pokemon that I really like um, from my old games. I think I did it um, from Pearl to the next game was Platinum. Platinum, yeah. I think I did from that game to... So I understand, I understand that. Um, but I'm excited to see the new Pokemon that we're going to get. And there's still going to be old Pokemon in the game. Yeah, they haven't even like disclosed like what Pokemon are coming Yeah, back. exactly. You exactly. don't so, know. It could, it could be a minimal amount that they're cutting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just excited to see what Pokemon are going to be in the game. Yeah, you and I both. And I think another thing that just... the uh, A thing that a lot of people are complaining about is the fact that being that Pokemon is like the biggest brand period like uh, I think that Pokemon is the highest grossing entertainment brand period they think that the Pokemon company and Nintendo should be putting more effort into the Pokemon and I think they look at it as the cut Pokemon being cut because they're not putting that effort in mm -hmm. and I don't really agree with that yeah well I think that also stems from like people complaining about difficulty like, you can just make the game, like, so simple that you don't really have to, like, grind levels for your Pokemon. And mm -hmm. then, like, the change with the XP share, with, like, not having to switch between Pokemon like that. Mm -hmm. Just, like, it gives the experience all to your team. So, I think I can understand that. And I remember seeing somewhere that people were asking for, like, a new game plus that just makes the game that much more difficult. Uh, I can kind of understand that. I can see how, like, recently it's been kind of easy to just, like go through the game without having mm -hmm. to do much but so maybe a diff more difficulty or maybe a level of difficulty before yeah, like you, you can start you should definitely be able to like choose like a lot of games with new game plus you have to beat the game first right. to like, mm -hmm. play new game plus i don't think they should do that like if they actually implement this you should never be able to like choose whether you want to play it on like a higher difficulty level i think the difficulty should be ramped up though just period um pokemon should be about your type against the other types and i mean you can just brute force period through most of the games now you don't even need to change up like your starter can p basically get you through the whole game and pokemon should be more about matchups yeah i agree yeah because yeah the especially when you mentioned the xp share because i remember um trying to get through and the game to to find that mm -hmm. so it'll be easier because i i remember 
hating having to switch between my Pokemon to yes. do it and now it's so much easier because you don't really have to switch between but I, but now I do it anyway yeah. because I want component. I want to switch between it because I want them to get more experience I like XP shit though I'm a big proponent of XP <laughs> shit I like it too I don't care in, in <laughs> RPGs period I like XP share I mean it's not in games like Fire Emblem no it's not well we can't really speak on that because we only played three houses so oh. I don't really know about like yeah I don't know about ones, the past but, ones but um yeah. I know Dragon Quest Eleven has X feature basically was like you even the partners that you have that's not fighting with you will get experience and I guess that's like a big thing because if you just like leave a uh, Pokemon or just like whatever it is that you want in just like the back burner and you want to actually use them but you can't because like one specific area says count as that Pokemon in general it's just like really hard but what was I saying I don't wait hold on I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what you were saying too. What were you talking he was about? saying Talk that if you like XP share, yeah. Like if you leave a Pokemon not using it. Oh, like because I know people were just like complaining at first before they made the change that they wanted to be able to just like have their entire team get experience. It's just like if it was like a little bit of a like a roadblock basically just like having to switch between pokemon every now and then because there's not even that many trainers to train your pokemon on and even then the wild pokemon are also aren't even that strong to exactly. just like level up your pokemon so the change is very good but in certain standpoints it's just it makes the game like way too easy maybe that's a change that they need to make though maybe they need to make like wild pokemon stronger it's kind of mm -hmm. even if you even like when you go back and you're hunting for a pokemon Maybe when you go back, you're leveled up, they should be at a higher level too. Yeah. I, I think it'll make it more difficult. And I'm, difficulty is a thing in Pokemon that needs to be ramped up a little. Um, I know that Pokemon Let's Go is um, controversial to a lot of the community period. But I like that. I like that they kind of are kind of are implementing some of the things from it in the in, I'm sorry in Sword and Shield. I like that the wild area because that's that like game. maybe my favorite part of um, Let's Go is to be able to see the Pokemon to be able to see the Pokemon mm -hmm. instead of just you walk into tall grass and you bump up into Pokemon. Yeah. And I mean, I like that because you get to choose the Pokemon that you want to catch. You don't have to stop on everything. And I've never, I've never been a big fan of random encounters in RPGs. I guess that's why I never really got into the RPGs like that. Mm -hmm. uh, random encounters always turn me off. And it's funny that I always talk about how I never beat any RPG games. But then I look back and I actually have beaten a couple of Pokemon games. So I actually have beaten past RPG games. Yeah. But... I don't. I, I've never been a big fan of random encounters. Yeah, because I've noticed that in myself too. Like, whenever I get a random encounter, I feel like I'm being taken away from the game. And then when, like, some games like change that, like Dragon Quest Nine, Eleven, and then uh, Let's Go, when they changed that, it just felt like I actually wanted to battle them. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, they don't even like take away from like the location that you're in. Like, it kind of like mimics in the battle like yeah. the location like, yeah okay. that's cool i think that's really good that they do do that yeah i like that too i i, I really like let's go it was it was a lot of fun um it brought in the fun of um pokemon go that i liked for a year and then <laughs> <laughs> threw it away <laughs> um and i know it's not like the regular games but it was i i don't feel like it was supposed to be I it wasn't think it was supposed to move, move, move away from that, and because we don't, we didn't get, like, we didn't get a game like a Pokemon game for the Wii, or anything like, like a that we like got Pokemon, yeah. yeah. So I feel like, yeah, I I wanted to see, I want, a, I wanted a Pokemon game where you can like physically catch something, throw a Pokeball. Um, I love seeing the Pokemon there. I thought it was a really fun game. Um, there are some, of course, 
There's annoyances. There's yeah, like, there. Like having to control it with one Joy-Con. That's an annoyance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like just um, the Pro Controller has motion. You can use the Pokemon can, the Pro Controller to do everything that you can do with the single Joy-Con. Mm. So, is there anything that you like really want added to Pokemon the Pokemon series going forward? Um, I haven't gotten far into um X Pokemon X because I've gotten more into Stardew Valley again. <laughs> um, but the the roller skating was great. Um, I really love that. The friends, how cool is that? That's really cute. Yeah. yeah um, I would love to see stuff like that. Um, the roller skating, like imagine being able to choose like between like riding a riding a bike or roller skating, something like that. That would be really nice. Um, um, I wonder if they, will you still be able to like ride Pokemon yeah. or, yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, I think they should definitely bring that back. That was yeah. definitely one of my favorite additions I really like that. to the series. I like I like rideable Pokemon. Uh, that, that's another thing that I liked about um, Let's Go is that you could pull out, you could have any Pokemon follow you. Yeah. That was yes. kind of cool. I like that. It was cute. I want yeah. Because of that in Soul Silver and Heart Gold, where you can have your Pokemon following behind you. Yeah, I haven't played any of these games. I I, I haven't played I really X like those games. I haven't played Soul yeah. Silver and Heart Gold. How did I forget about? I love those games. Okay. Yes, I have to go back and play some of these games. <laughs> they were a lot of fun. Yeah, they have a lot of cool ideas, and one of the things that stuck out to me in the most, and I think it was Sun and Moon, mm -hmm. when after you beat the Pokemon League, you're actually the Pokemon champion. So you're not battling your rival again mm -hmm. just to be the Pokemon champion again. Like you can actually sit in the seat and then have people come to you. And rivals, yes. rivals. Yes. That's something that needs to be improved. improved. Yeah, the rival is always such a pushover. I don't want a pushover rival. If I have a rival in a Pokemon game, I want somebody that's pushing me, mm -hmm. so that I know that my Pokemon has to get stronger. It's like every time I face my rival, I'm destroying him. It shouldn't be that way. <laughs> I mean, I already give him a horrible name every what time, <laughs> so I don't like having to to just destroy yeah. my rival every time. You should be strong. Mm -hmm. Like it has to be an Ash and Gary type of thing, not a pushover. Yeah, and they brought back well, red and blue mm -hmm. in Sun and Moon, and they're definitely like really strong Pokemon yeah. trainers. But then after you get to like level one hundred, then it's really not that much of a difficulty. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they should show up in more locations, maybe, not just like one spot. And I know that they. Red doesn't talk. Blue does talk. I think it's blue. Or green, whatever. But. Green. They should definitely be like more interesting characters than they are. Like, Red's mysterious, that's cool, but he's just standing in one spot the entire time, and then after you beat him, he disappears. <laughs> like. <laughs> Just like make make those characters that are like huge trademarks, just like something more. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like actually have them show up to battle you if you like if you win the Pokemon League. Just like have these difficult trainers from like maybe even past games come mm -hmm. and fight, fight you. So a question: Do you think that Pokemon should have voice acting? Mm. Mm. I. It depends, because for me, a lot of voice acting kind of takes away from the game in some aspects. Like if they're doing like full voice acting, like in battles and then outside of it, and like cutscenes, I think it could be good if the voice actors are good. Yeah, that's a definite. And I think in battles, mostly it will be really interesting, like hearing the trainers say the moves that they want their Pokemon to do, I think that'll be good. That would be cool. Yeah. I would like to. Yeah. I think it would have to be good voice acting. It would definitely yeah. have to be good voice acting and I don't know. People are so critical of voice acting, especially in Nintendo games, mm -hmm. so I don't I don't know. I think I, I I think it could work. I think it should probably be in maybe the upcoming Pokemon games. A lot of people thought when they were watching the cutscenes for uh, Sword and Shield that they were gonna have voice acting, mm -hmm. and then it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really detract from me. I 
I like games with voice acting in it, but I can also play a game that doesn't have voice acting in it, and it's not going to be a big problem for me. I can read the text in the game and still get as immersed into the game as if it was voice acting. Right. I'm okay either or. It would be really cool to see a Pokemon game with voice acting, I think. Yeah, I mean... I would love that. They, it's not like they don't, they don't have the money. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could hire the actors from the from the cartoons yeah I mean that's probably gonna be extremely expensive but you could you could do it that'd be cool to see any other Pokemon thoughts mm -hmm. uh, we could talk about the what is it the the curry thing the national curry thing. <laughs> the curry <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like you can, oh, the, like the campfire thing, you, like, you can make curry for your Pokemon. I like that. It's the breath of the Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> people were kind of joking around how we got the national curry decks instead of the national Pokemon. <laughs> 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 yep. Oh yeah. my god. I hope every Pokemon going forward has it. <laughs> you know, it <laughs> I like it. I like, I like it. Too. I mean, I like anything that's additional i mean i don't think it's gonna be something that you really have to do and i mean they had that poofing thing mm -hmm. so i mean it's not like it's something drastic or a drastic change to pokemon but it's just an addition yeah i like being able to like interact with your pokemon Me in too. different ways like mm -hmm. in was the x and y where you can just like train them like there was like these mini games basically and there were like balloons of pokemon and you just like have them train in certain i, I haven't got there yet <laughs> it might be x and y or omega ruby and alpha sapphire it might be i haven't those. played that Jeez, yet yeah. i play all the pokemon games i've played, played like that five one. pokemon games um but yeah i love interacting with um your pokemon because there was what, what was that game that i played it was sun and moon where you could um yeah, it's like it's, what is it called? You Pokemon can influence Fresh, their happy, right? Yeah, influence mm -hmm. their happiness. Um, yeah, and, and you can, like pet them and everything. Mm -hmm. I like I like that. It's it's really it's really cute. And then there's the you can like bring them to the island thing. And yeah, it's really cute. I like stuff like that. Um, and the Pokemon camp thing is really cute. And you can make them stew and they and the Pokemon interact with each other, right? Yeah, so. and that's 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 new, right? Well, it's like you're kind of like daycare maybe like that's a thing yeah yeah I think also it's, a it's like a concept. it's it's a it's not a breeding thing right we have to see okay no one pokemon will and that's how people will influence you know like eb ivy dream yes mm. what do you think about the what is it the gigant was it, oh. it the <laughs> gigant <laughs> whatever right? um I don't know. Every don't know. Pokemon has some weird gimmick, it was like the totems and sun and moon. I feel like this is just like the weirdest one. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And the also, they just like kind of retconned. Um, well, there's like they the Z moves and then Mega evolving. Which that's is, what that's it's like called. The mega like evolving. List, like idea that they had, I feel, with like evolutions, and that was gone. <laughs> Yeah, it just yeah. disappeared never to be heard of. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I think it... I feel like it just belongs more in Let's Go. Because like, it feels like more cartoonish. And then it just feels weird. Like, I like the raid boss thing. That part is cool. But like having your actual Pokemon do that, I, I don't know. It's like having like that small Pikachu just turn gigantic, like even bigger than the stadium. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird. It sounds cool. Like, on paper, it's I don't cool, know. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I have yeah. to play it to see. I just want to see the Meowth just turn long. Like imagine just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't see the point. It's it's funny meme wise and stuff, mm. because, but. Yeah. yeah and also, I think the moves aren't like very creative. I'll have to like double check that. But I think like a lot of the Pokemon have like similar moves as when they 
What is it called? Gigamax? Dynamax? G <laughs> see, see, I can't even remember the name. Gigantamax, I think. I thought it was Dynamax too. I think it was Dynamax first, but then they oh, changed it. Oh, see, I knew what I was yeah. talking about. I knew it. See, now I have to check again. <laughs> I mean, what was it from the movie Big Hero Six, like Betamax? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. That's literally what it is. <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll see how it, how the gameplay is. I'm trying to think like what made them Let's choose make that battling but giant. Yeah, I yeah. guess it's just because they want the world to be big, and like the raid boss thing came to mind, and just like that's the best way you can implement that. But I don't know. It's like you can only have one. Pokemon be beta max at one time, right? Like in a raid boss, like you I can't have so. multiple. Yeah, I don't. I believe so. I don't know, but that's probably that's now that I think about it, that's exactly what it is. It's like raid battles. I guess it's a way for them to implement something from Pokemon Go mm -hmm. without implementing the stuff that's going to turn a lot of people off. But that might turn a lot of people off. Yeah, like, did they even have to get rid of Z moves and Mega Evolve? Yeah, because, because you can only, only one person. You can only use a yeah, Z move out one, only one Z move, right? I believe so. It? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like the same thing. Like you can only use it once. Yeah. Per battle or whatever, but so I don't know. Maybe they didn't get the response they wanted from that. It's possibly. I'm pretty sure Mega Evolving was like the biggest thing, was it not? Because like it lasted for three generations, I think? I don't know. I don't know. It just feels so weird because like, just like going from like cool evolutions to just the normal Pokemon just expanded. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're we'll just, just going to have to see like exactly how it plays out. Mm -hmm. like, I'm sure people are going to love it in some aspects, mm -hmm. like casually, but... Like, imagine that competitively. Like, that's not that interesting. Not at all. Who knows if it's even going to be allowed competitively. It probably won't be. I don't think... I, I, I can't see that being allowed competitively, because... I mean, I guess if bo uh, both of you can have one, but... Yeah. Uh, I feel like someone could hack it and just, like, be using it. Oh, that's what my thought was. That the the... A lot of people are, pay are paying for Nintendo Switch Online, but Pokemon doesn't have the what is it? The saves. Cloud saves. Yeah, cloud saver, and that cloud mm -hmm. saving is so that you can't spoof, and you know that people are gonna cheat and spoof. So I think I don't see it being a negative, but a lot of people see anything that they do when any game that doesn't have cloud saves is looked at as a negative. Even though that's why they usually get rid of cloud saves in those specific games, so that you can't influence by saves coming and everything. Right. That was another thing too. Like only having one save file for. Is it still gonna be that way? It's very likely, but in this case, you have like multiple accounts that you can just. Very use. true. Very true. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, it's like that's definitely a plus. But mm -hmm. in general, like let's say they like go back to like not having multiple accounts on one system, I definitely think they should make more files because you don't, nobody wants to have to like, delete their file with like all their Pokemon just to play the game again. Exactly. Yeah. I never understood that practice other yeah. than the fact that that's the way to make money. Yeah, and how would it come to play with like, if they did New Game Plus, like how would you carry over your Pokemon? It's like you probably wouldn't have the same team, right? Because like with every Pokemon in the game just be like level 80 plus from like then on it has to be something like that for it to work yeah I mean that could be kind of interesting but then the level cap is just level 100 and level up like 20 times that's it maybe you have to update the up the level cap in a new game plus if they even do it I don't see them doing a new game plus <laughs> yeah I think just difficulty flat out is the better choice they need to ramp it up. It definitely needs to be ramped up again. It's Pokemon has always been like rock, paper, scissors. Mm. And 
it needs to be more of that. I don't want to have. I don't want to be able to use a type that's not supposed to be able to be that type. Yeah. I, I did play like a little bit of competitive Pokemon. I think it was in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and that was for like the most fun I've had playing Pokemon. Like actually thinking about what you're gonna do next. Like just like cherry picking the Pokemon that you want to use. Like not using like those legendaries things like that. Right. Like that was like very fun and like you don't even do that in a normal game like you don't even have to nope i can just like level up one pokemon just like exactly and just brute force your way through it yeah it, it, it can be the types don't even have to be opposite types yeah. or anything you can just brute force your way through it because there's like a, there's a lot of stats on that like there's like 1.5 times like effectiveness and like two like sometimes that doesn't even like really matter it's just like over leveled <laughs> um anything else um i just i'm still wondering more about the the legendaries the what are their names did it have some do we know their names i don't know anything about the legendary yeah in this game. i, I kind of hope that it's kind of similar i'll what I liked about like Sun and Moon was that you had that le legendary that was with you from the beginning of the game. Well, at least part of the story from the beginning oh, the of the game. Oh, totally, yeah. And I thought that was kind of cool. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of going to be interesting. Because aren't they... Aren't legendaries now supposed to be like kind of rivals in a way? Because like I saw them in the trailer I believe like, so. fighting each other. Oh. That would be good. Mm. That's kind of, that's different. Because it's similar to uh, the Dialga and Palkia. And if they oh. also do like some sort of like third game, like how Platinum was to Diamond and Pearl, where like Giratina comes in and like Dialga and Palkia are fighting that, mm -hmm. that could be like really interesting. What would a third one even be? Pokemon Gun. Yes! <laughs> yes! I was, was going to say Pokemon <laughs> Spear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, because like I I love Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. If they do something like that, yes, love that. I need a new evolution in this Pokemon game. Oh yeah, what was the last one? Was it the fairy type? It was Sylvia? the fairy type from um, Sun and Moon. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know what type you could have this time going. But I, is there anything left? There's gotta be something left. We have. Yeah, but there's no ghost type, right? Oh, wait. There's, I don't know if Umbreon... That's a dark Umbreon type. Umbreon is dark. What is Espeon? Psychic. Psychic. Okay, so there's no ghost type. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. I yeah. need a new evolution. And they can also just, like, do mixed, possibly. Mm-hmm. Because they do, they do that a lot, like, now. With, like, fire, psychic, water, dark. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would like that. They can they start doing that. Oh, then I was mad when they announced that new Pokemon that just ended up being uh, well no there's nothing wrong with Surfetched but the silhouette mm. kind of looked like it was going to be a Marowak <laughs> evolution you know I'm a big Cubone and Marowak fan yeah. it's kind of disappointing I'm still disappointed right now don't be laughing man I'm disappointed I need uh, that. I, I, that's why I kind of am mad about the Mega Evolutions going away because it was cool to see Pokemon that you hadn't seen evolve in a yeah. while yeah. get an evolution even if it was through a Mega. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. This Giga, what, what are we calling now? <laughs> Beta <Beta-maxing>. Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure about right now. We'll see. I'll have to see the gameplay. We might win us over when we play. Maybe. It's we'll possible. see. I'll probably just be laughing when I. Let's see. I'm looking forward to. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm very. Lo I'm looking forward to. A uh, lot of the community seemingly is down on it, but I think it actually. I think it looks pretty good. I think that they seemingly have a lot of good ideas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another thing. Like thoughts on the graphics improving. How would they do that? Because make it look more like the cartoon. Even well, though, I, even though I don't want to look, it doesn't even look. I don't want to look like amazing. that's that's the thing though. They say that Sun and Moon. What they're trying to say, a lot of people, is that it doesn't look like a 
big upgrade over the 3DS game. It just looks like an up 3DS game. It's, I know that's what a lot of people were saying for Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, that it looked like an up I feel like that's just a bad cop-out, though. It is, because I, I actually thought that that game was kind of nice looking, and especially there were some places that looked like really good. Mm -hmm. Nice, and just looking at Sword and Shield, there are also a lot of places that look really good. And people nitpick like, oh, these trees look like N64 trees. Okay. Have they seen Super Mario 64 trees? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think the game was pretty good. So um, I don't even want like really like semi-realistic graphics for Pokemon. Like it's not yeah. supposed to be that. Like people have that same argument with Zelda and it's supposed to be like a fantasy type game. Like you're not gonna see like these Pokemon like hyper realistic. No, and yeah. I don't want every game to be like that. Why yeah. does that Wait, 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 wait. Y'all don't want hyper realistic Pokemon? So you don't want like Mr. Mine that looks like Mr. Mine no. from <laughs> that looks like Mr. Mine from um Detective Pikachu? No. Even though I, I do I haven't seen Detective Pikachu, Me I either. still wanna see it. See? But But that's where they could um, go. Pokemon no, on, on no. like Switch Two could look like that. No. Okay. I don't want every game to be <laughs> super realistic. I don't not everything needs to look like that. Well, I like my... I like my cartoony looking yes. games too. And I, I, I like... <laughs> not everyone likes that. I, li not I like art realistic. style over graphics 9 Thank times you. out of 10. Yeah. Yes. I, I feel like, if anything, they could kind of go the Pokemon Coliseum route. Like Pokemon Stadium, which is like... The models for the Pokemon are just That's, like a little bit better or just mm, bigger. That's the yeah. other thing though. So that... People will say that Pokemon Coliseum look better than these games look now. Okay, wait. Mm. Pokemon Coliseum. So there's Pokemon Stadium, which is the just like battling thing, and Coliseum was like an actual adventure game. Like it wasn't like an actual like Pokemon. That was for the uh, for the GameCube. Yeah. GameCube. Okay. I, I remember. Yeah. Um. I would. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely take like better models. Like mm -hmm. going too far with the graphics, I don't think is just like the. They best. don't need to do all that. The yeah. thing is, I mean, yeah, they could definitely do better models, but that's the thing. If you want a national dex with every Pokemon, mm -hmm. you know how much time and effort it's going to take for them to remodel every Pokemon. Yeah, we're, we wouldn't get a, a new Pokemon next year. You yeah. no, you wouldn't. I don't know what they expect. And I guess that's probably not even a negative thing. I know, but you think they would? You think Nintendo would no. do that? No, they, they no. would. They want the game and the anime like on time with each other, don't they? Doesn't Pretty much, and I mean, the thing with Pokemon is that you they can always just remake. Is that's it's usually like. It's usually. <laughs> It's usually like a remake and then maybe another mainline. So I mean, this is gonna be remake. what generate. Gen, gen, this is the age generation now. I believe so. And yeah. then next year they'll probably do a remake, and then after that they can probably, or maybe a third version, then a remake, and mm -hmm. then three years, two years from now, then they would do whatever it is next. I don't know if it'll be ninth generation or not. It depends on how successful Sword and Shield is, because mm -hmm. it could always be Sword 2 and Sword Shield, and, and Sword 2 and Sword Shield, <laughs> Sword and Shield 2, or something like that. You never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bring back Pokemon Ranger and yes. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yes. Yes, I agree. So, Pokemon MMO. What? This uh, is I the fantasy yeah. of... Pokemon fans since like the longest since time. like second generation it's like massively online multiplayer Pokemon oh okay. yeah like you can actually be like a gym leader like fighting people to come to challenge you it sounds cool oh. but how in the world would that even work I don't know it's definitely really hard to make something like that work and I know like people would mod um Minecraft there's like Minecraft Pixelmon where you can like there's actual Pokemon in that game, and you like you catch them, you can be a gym leader. Just like Pokemon League, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't even really know how that works entirely, but That's something cool. like along those lines, it's like maybe test it out somehow. 
Like, I don't know what kind of map they would even use. But seeing that implemented would be really cool, I think. Who knows? Maybe one day it'll happen. That'd be really cool. Any other Pokemon thoughts? Wait, what was the shield exclusive Pokemon? That was the the Ponyta, oh, right? The gal Galar region Ponyta, right? Is it? Right? I thought it was. I thought that was why I was getting shield. See, if it is, I might have to get shield for that too. Look, isn't that kind of weird though? What? Ponyta? Yeah, it doesn't have a shield. Does it? In like the new model? No what shield? do you mean? It's like... Surfesh has a sword. Well, why doesn't Ponyta have a shield? Like, Pony it would make sense. Right? Ponyta's horn is her shield. <laughs> no. Doesn't does it even does it have a horn? Doesn't Farfetch thing? always have a sword? Yeah, but that's what I was saying. Like, it has a sword, so it makes sense that we. How is he, How is how is how is Ponyta supposed to have a sword? No, no. I'm saying if it's such a, if that's the shield exclusive. <laughs> mm hmm why? Like, couldn't it be like Aga Slash? Like, that, that is an oh. actual shield. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it has like a... a Cause it's cute. ...an attack of that. Cause it's... I don't know, the fans. Yeah, and it's it's a shield exclusive. Yeah. So, it's cute. Can you tell me what it looks like? Mm -hmm. It looks like a unicorn. It's mad it's cute. cute. Like, it's cute, sure. <laughs> but it doesn't make any sense that shield exclusive. It's adorable, that's why. Yeah, so it's adorable. It's like cotton candy, cool. <laughs> but it doesn't have a shield. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't, uh, we don't know anything about, like, yeah, like we don't, the we don't even know the other and stuff. Maybe the, you know, there's gonna be other exclusives, so maybe those exclusives will yeah. fit the criteria oh, the other that thing Arden I, wants. Um, I wonder if because like i forgot what games it was but i think it was black and white that had like exclusive like towns yeah, yeah. There like there was a forest and there was a town, town i yeah. think i, I like that was. like yeah. having like i wanted the i wanted the other game because i wanted to get the the town or the mm. forest or whatever yeah people like, are talking about pokemon games that i never played it's kind of you didn't play black and white i told you okay Come on, man. i played the original I don't even know if it's the original. I probably played uh, fire, fire, red, leaf, green. No, no. I played like a yellow. I played like twenty minutes of yellow on a friend's Game Boy Color. I played fire, red. No, I played. You had leaf green. I had fire red. Oh, so I played leaf green. You had fire red. Okay, okay. I played diamond. That was the first one I beat. But you didn't beat it until years later. Yeah, like two thousand fifteen. Got a lot of viewers now. Yes, two thousand fifteen. I beat it very easily. I beat sun. First, first played through. We're skipping through so many games. And then I played Let's Go. Skipping more games. Did you beat that? Not yet. Wait. <laughs> you be what? No, Didn't I haven't. Did we get you through something? And then, remember we were on vacation and I lent my Switch to some kid. I think I turned it off without saving. No, so I haven't even looked at it since that day because I don't want to have not saved and have to go through it again. So... One of these days, I'll go back to it again. I beat what Diamond in 2015, and I got that like on launch day. Hmm. So that's another thing. Why doesn't it have auto save? Like, why do you have to manually it save? It should. Every it should time? have auto save. I, I I think I don't know if there's auto save, but I know there are definitely instances in this one that are gonna have auto save. That would be yeah, great. Yeah, definitely should. Even though there, I don't think there's ever been a point where I've like turned off my game. Oh, this happened to me so many times. Oh like, no! Oh, you're red, definitely. Like so many times, like I would accidentally kick my SP, and then it would. Just oh cut well, off. that makes yeah. sense because <laughs> that those were so yeah. sensitive. Yeah. But I never got to play those games. I would like. No, the worst thing would be okay. somebody borrowing your Switch. I'm mean, no, sorry, your 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 3DS or DS. And popping the game out to oh, see what yeah. game is in the system <laughs> while you're in the middle of <laughs> that is the worst <laughs> it happened i was so angry no. like i didn't say what are you doing why why <laughs> that's just that's open it and you can see what was on the oh screen you don't pop it out of this okay <laughs> i will be honest like 
I remember, I think it was just the original 3DS, not XL. And then the DSi XL. For some reason, whenever I would play it, I always had the urge to just press down on the game. No! <laughs> I don't know why. It's because, it's it's because just, of the spring! Yeah, it's just like, it, it feels satisfying <laughs> yep. just to press it, but I know it's just bad to do it. No. And which is why I'm so glad that they changed that with the Switch. Like, it's it's actually covered yeah. now. Yeah. It's being completely open. See, now playing yeah. your, your 3DS, like, uh, it's on the bottom now, and I'm like, yeah, oh god, don't like, press it. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to press it now, because I, I don't know where anything is anymore, because everything's like, tur turn around. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. <laughs> It's weird, but I'm, I'm getting comfortable with it. What do you want to see in upcoming Pokemon games? Are you looking forward to Sword and Shield? And if not, why? Please comment below. Let us know your favorite Pokemon games, what you love about Pokemon, what you hate about Pokemon, uh, favorite starters, anything you like about Pokemon. Leave it below. If you want to see more content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe follow us on our social medias they're going to be down in the description, description. Box below. and this was we play too much we play too much no why do you keep on putting up gang signs that's a gang sign too enough of this <laughs> 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 we're out <laughs> why is everything